Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And the second Springbok preparation camp has just concluded down in Durban. And uh, today, which, which, um, which marks 100 days until the Rugby World Cup does kick off. And uh, we've got some quotes with some updates from Jacques Ninaba as well as Springbok captain Sikli. So at this stage, just set to, to potentially make the Rugby World Cup. As I said, there's been no <coughs> official sort of um, ruling out of, of Khaleesi for the World Cup. And in fact... The more you follow him online, the more you take to see what he's doing. It actually looks more promising than not, um, which is very good news for the Springboks. Um, before we sort of break down the press release, what has been said and what the sort of plan of action is ahead of the Rugby Championship, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, right, so they, break, uh, they um, wrapped up their second training camp this weekend. And uh, they got some quotes from, we've got some quotes from Galicia and Jacques. You're not about to get through, but uh, first things first, from a logistics point of view, it says that the Springbok squad will assemble in Pretoria on Sunday, the 11th of June, to prepare for the Castle Lager Rugby Championship campaign. Um, the, it, said, it says that the Springbok training squad built on their first preparation camp in Durban two weeks ago with a series of field training sessions, gym sessions, and team meetings. Uh, Jacques Nyoba said that we are delighted with the foundation we put in place at our two preparation camps in Durban and our alignment camps hosted in Cape Town and Stellenbosch earlier this year. And we believe we have a strong base to build from um, as we start preparing for the Castle Lager Rugby Championship. Uh, the players have been working very hard and they know what we expect from them as we get up to the test season. We are fortunate to have a manageable size training squad at this training camp and it was also fantastic to see the progress made by the injured players who had another valuable opportunity to work face-to-face -face with our medical team. Uh, we will now turn our attention to the Castle Lager Rugby Championship with our preparations for the competition set to kick off in Pretoria next month. Um, speaking about the World Cup, uh, Ninaba says, seeing the world hype around the 100-day mark from the Rugby World Cup today was great, and it was awesome to share the moment with the training squad. Uh, one can sense the urgency and excitement among the players to get the ball rolling fully, which starts next month. We have a challenging and exciting journey ahead to the Rugby World Cup, and we are looking forward to giving our best in an attempt to defend our title. Uh, Khaleesi then said, it's unbelievable to think that it was, it was almost four years ago since we lifted the Web Ellis um, Trophy in Japan, and the players have been working hard to give us the best possible chance to defend our title. Uh, the memories of lifting the trophy and the emotional scenes of the fans waiting at the airport when we arrived home and lying in the streets countrywide in our trophy tour were unforgettable moments. And while we know the World Cup is going to be extremely challenging, we would love to experience that again and give the people of our country something to smile about. We have 100 days to get everything in place for the competition and we'll give everything to ensure that we are re both um, ready both physically and mentally. So that is the update coming up from Durban. Obviously not going to have any sort of squad updates, stuff like that, but it was an important camp. You know, it was the first time that Arke Sneyman has been involved with the Spring Box since the World Cup, for example. Um, again, as I said, you know, I think the injured players are a big thing, you know, finding out what's going on with Sia Khaleesi, what's going on with Jaden Hendricks, for example. Um, you know, two players, you know, with a lot of sort of doubt around their World Cup campaign. And I think for a lot of them, sort of, you know, getting up to sort of fitness, getting up to speed with, you know, what the plan is. You know, players like Mark Evanstar and Grant Williams, where do they stand? And the nice thing is, with the current streamer management, you can almost guarantee that they've gone and told those players, this is where you're at. You know, you might get one or two games, but right now you're probably not going to France unless you change our mind. And, you know, that's kind of the the approach that the streamer management have taken, the way they're usually very upfront about <coughs> the sort of pecking order and where you kind of stand. So, yeah, the squad will assemble next weekend, um, which means that we expect to have a squad announcement within the next week uh, of the Rugby Championship squad, which will then include players from the Premiership and the Top 14 uh, or in France, which didn't, uh, which which uh, weren't uh, considered for this, these two camps in the last couple of uh, weeks. Um, so, yeah, we will have hopefully have a squad announcement, I'd imagine, sometime early next week. Um, so, and that'll be really good to sort of then see sort of exactly who's where, how big of a squad we take. Are we going to be going with a sort of a 45 to 50 man squad that we're then going to whittle down to a 33 man squad? Or will we go with a 40 man squad, for example? And, and we'll really start to sort of say, right, that's kind of our core of our World Cup squad. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly the kind of size. <coughs> I'd almost like to see like a 40 man squad and kind of sort of get a better idea of who our World Cup 33 is, plus then the seven extra players. Um, so I think that'll obviously be a lot more manageable, but it wouldn't surprise me if we do see a 45 man squad, for example as well as well as interesting to see the type of players that will be involved um you know from the premiership and the top 14 because we those we don't know which of those players are on the radar for example Elton Yankees is he on the radar is he off the radar um because none of the French players you know were considered for this last sort of training camp but yeah let me know what you think uh, any sort of surprise election you might see in the next week and uh, let me know down in the comments below so please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is Stephen.
and I'll chat to you soon.